Hey guys, what's up? It's Kim or Kimmy Wright here and today is finally going to be just a normal Modern Warfare 3 commentary because I was looking the other day and I realised I've not actually done a normal Modern Warfare 3 commentary in over a month's time. Like, I think I did a Black Ops one um, about three weeks to a month ago or something. Like, I've not done a normal Call of Duty commentary in ages so I was like, oh shit, I best go do one. And um, so for the past like few days I've been sat in Skype calls with my friend Andrew and I keep like asking him, um, have you got any ideas for a commentary I can do? And we're both really bad at uh, ideas for commentaries and stuff because I was thinking like it it's really hard to think of some an idea to talk about if you've already like spoke about yourself and then um, spoke about like a few few topics that interest you and stuff it's like what else is there to talk about over gameplay so I suppose if you have a very interesting life like Syndicate for example and uh, like he's he's going to LA and stuff like that uh, then commentating is very easy but because my life's quite simple and boring and um, there's not really much going on so it's pretty hard to think of stuff to talk about but um, I'm gonna do it anyway so yeah the gameplay is a 58 and 5 uh, I think it's a domination. I think it might be ground war. I'm not sure if it's normal domination or ground war. Uh, but nevertheless, um, I got this. It must have been a while ago because I think I'm only fifth prestige in it and I only just seen it on my hard drive. I was like, why haven't I used this gameplay yet? Because I think 58, uh, 58 and 5 is not is not a bad score at all. Um, I am using the Assault uh, Strike package, which is my favourite uh, package, using the Predator Missile, Attack Helicopter and the Paveler, which as you most of you know, it's what I always sort of use. Um, but yeah, the gameplay is quite quite uh, fast paced. I can't believe I didn't. I haven't used it already. It's pretty weird. Um, it must have been hiding somewhere. Um, but yeah, I've got, I keep getting like loads of like weird gameplays. Like um, I keep getting ones which are like sixty to seventy kills, but I'm also dying like sixteen times. So it's like no. If I'd have only died like one less or something like that, that would have been um more sufficient for my YouTube channel because I don't really want to be posting like gameplay just for the sake of it like I only want sort of the best of my ability sort of gameplay like I have got I have got gameplay um it's just annoying when you get like a 67 to 16 or something it's like wow like I, I like gameplay which has um if it's sort of like a domination gameplay I like ones with uh like a 10 kd sort of, a 10 kd um sort of like a 5 kd or more like uh, that wouldn't have been a 5kd or more, so yeah. <laughs> um, what was I going to talk about? Oh yeah, I was going to talk about a few things that are going on at the moment. Um, basically, well, you most of you know that I've got that job, which is still going pretty well, because I was about to get sacked about this time uh, a month ago, so um, it's all going pretty well. It, it did end up being the computer's mistake, because basically, if you didn't know, what happened was um, my work bases itself on like accuracy and speed and stuff and my accuracy was apparently just terrible and like beyond terrible basically and uh, it ended up being a computer error in my accuracy score so um it ended up being like all right but imagine it I was I was thinking if I'd have got sacked because of a computer error, error and it wasn't my own error I would have been absolutely mortified because um yeah, then I would, like, my mum would start getting pissed off at me again because when I didn't have a job, she was like, Kim, you need a job now. I was like, dude, it's really hard to get a job. Uh, but now going, it's not too bad. Um, I was also, I'm also thinking about moving out with a friend, I think, in a couple of months' time because basically what happened, the friend who I'm moving out with, um, he had a car crash uh, a couple of months ago, but it wasn't just a normal car crash. It was a police car that crashed into the back of his car. So um, he's getting, like, some crash compensation for that because uh, he had like a really bad back pain because his car was actually stationary and when a car's stationary and you get crashed into it's actually like quite bad um so with that I think we're gonna put um me and my friend are gonna put down like a deposit thing on um, a house because uh, where I live at the moment I'm living with my sister which you all probably know I'm a mother and my mother my mum's got a boyfriend as well but um it's pretty like, I don't know, I don't like, because my mum's my got a boyfriend and I don't really particularly like going downstairs and doing my own sort of thing because I've never really properly met the guy and I just prefer to keep myself to myself in my own house, like I actually live in my bedroom, I just don't really like um, 
going round my house when other people are in that I don't know because my my sister has a lot of friends around a lot of the time um, and so does my mother as well so it's like oh I want my own house so I can do what I want but I was looking at prices and I don't I don't I know you guys like some of you are like young like 12 years old some of you are like a lot older like 19 20 uh, and some of you may have um already looked like on the prices of to move out and like to rent a house and it's actually ridiculous like just for a standard two bedroom apartment you're talking about uh, well I live in Warrington um, in between Manchester and Liverpool so uh, around here is going to be a bit more expensive than normal anyway because it's in between two city major cities um, but it's like £600 just for like a two bedroom apartment and stuff and then with bills on top you're going to be talking about like nine to not like up to 900 pounds just for a standard um room so which is like 450 pounds for each for two people so it is really expensive and i do strongly advise for people who are planning on or like thinking about moving out you may as well just stay at home as long as you possibly can because um you, your parents aren't going to be making like making you pay too much rent like for what you'd be paying normally like if you if you did to move out because my I'm only paying a hundred about a hundred pounds a month at the moment where I am uh, which seems I don't know if that, whether that's a lot or not enough to you um but that that's included my phone bill as well but I do have to buy my own stuff like I don't get anything off my mom like um I buy my own food a lot and I also buy my own like uh, makeup and shampoo and stuff like that so um it is pretty it's not it's not lame but um that's the way it is and I imagine if I did move out I would be broke all the time so I am I am gonna try and stay at home for as long as possible and um, but I am looking I'm hoping to move out in the next few months because then I love I love decor like new rooms as well like I love I, I want to pick a new room and like decorate it and stuff like that because then it'll just be awesome and then I can get my gaming set up and stuff um all pimped out and looking cool so yeah that 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 would be cool and another thing also, uh, I might be going on holiday again soon, which is pretty cool because I love going on holiday. I love to like travel and stuff like that. And hopefully it'll be to somewhere like Tenerife again because I love the Canary Islands. I don't I don't know if you've heard of them, but they're like um, Spanish islands. And they're, they're actually just north of Morocco in Africa and they're absolutely awesome. It's like always really nice weather and stuff. And um, they're lots of pretty cool people and stuff. So hopefully I'll be going in the next few months to that as well. So th there is a good couple of things happen uh, like going to happen in the future but I, whether they're 100 percent going to happen i don't know but um i will make them happen to the best of my ability <laughs> so yeah guys and uh, th that was a 58 and 5 domination gameplay using the acr suppressed with extended mags and it's golden as well so it's pretty cool going under uh, if you liked it leave a like and if you didn't just don't not leave a like i don't know yeah <laughs> goodbye everybody